Today we're going to make paper plate masks. We'll collage cardboard shapes onto a paper plate base to create a unique face or animal mask that we can wear or use for decoration. Let's gather our materials. The materials we'll need to make paper plate masks are paper plates, and the sturdy kind is best, although any kind will work. Cardboard, scissors, glue, tempera paint, a hole punch, and some elastic. Let's set up for success. These paper plate masks have an adult prep component. So before you get started making your mask, an adult will want to cut the eye holes out of the paper plate with a pair of scissors and you can uh, draw them on first or just freehand cut them. And then you will also want to cut some corrugated cardboard into shapes such as circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, half circles. Uh, you, can, you can cut these into a variety of shapes. And then put the different shapes into um, separate bowls or muffin tin sections or the sections of an hors d'oeuvre tray or something like that. Let's create! To make your paper plate masks, you'll start by gluing the cardboard shapes to the paper plate mask to create facial features such as a nose, mouth, teeth, ears, cheeks, eyebrows, hair, anything you like. If you need a cardboard shape that you don't have handy, you can draw it on a piece of cardboard and then cut it out or ask an adult to help you cut it out. After you have glued the cardboard shapes onto your mask, you can paint your mask with tempera paint and you can decorate it with other items as well with drawing elements or by gluing on small collage items such as sequins or, or other collage elements or you can simply leave it with the cardboard shapes and the paint. If you want to wear your mask, punch holes on both sides of the mask with the hole punch and then tie a length of elastic to one hole. Now hold the mask up to your face to determine the ideal length and then tie it through the other hole. You can wear these face masks such as for Halloween or for a party or just for dress up and pretend play or you can use them uh, for decoration, hang them on your wall with other artworks. I hope you enjoyed this art activity. It's time